Okay guys, Detecting Mushroom again, obviously, uh, this is uh, episode 7 in the series. Uh, in this video, I'll be going to my, uh, back to my historical uh, historical permission uh, uh, position between Clarence Hills and Halzoen. Obviously, the medieval market town of Halzoen um, has this time produced me a couple of musket balls, uh, a fish pence piece, a pen knife, and this weird uh, medieval, possibly even Celtic looking uh, piece of lead with a, a design on it, a very, very much a ancient design on it. But um, also, I believe uh, I thought I'd found a, an ancient sword, but it's obviously it turned out to be something else. So obviously not. It would well, but depending obviously on the uh, stock on of the area, it could have well been obviously. But uh, uh, well, obviously it wasn't, as the permission that I have has been hammered before in the past and detected before in the past. But uh, uh, sit back and enjoy the video, and please subscribe.
Okay, guys. Uh, obviously, uh, this here, as you can obviously see, I am um, I'm recording over the top of the original audio that was taken by the camera. But uh, this obviously is identification in itself. Uh, it seems possibly to be Celtic, although well, that's unlikely to be uh, what I say it is. But um, I'm not too particularly sure what it is. It could be medieval. Could be Tudor. Could even be Georgian. Could even be possibly even modern. But uh, I seriously need adequate identification, otherwise uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take it to the FLO, uh, the Fine Slicing Officer, at say, uh, Claude Upper's Metal Detecting Club, um, what is it? Meeting, yeah, obviously, and, uh, a meeting, uh, I'm going to have to take it to the Fine Slicing Officer, because I have not a clue to what it is, but it has a nice, uh, ornate, possibly even ancient or Celtic uh, design on, uh, on it, and, uh, but I'm not too particularly sure what it is, so seriously needs urgent and immediate identification. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, also next week, uh, well, uh, another time, uh, futuristically, we'll be going to, uh, same permission, but, uh, on the field that we, uh, previously we found a musket ball, a couple of two peas, and one five pence. Uh, and we're having to find a few pre-decimal there, as we actually have on the permission in, in the past. Uh, but that might have just been a one-off. But uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, um, we're also today we're going uh, Ren's Nest to go fossil hunting. Obviously, as you can see, that's a very small pistol ball that I found on uh, the flat field on the permission. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Ren's Nest fossil hunting, and I'm sure you'll enjoy me doing such a thing because. Is actually particularly interesting, as previously I've already found uh, quite a few fossils there uh, and uh, geological features that are particularly unique, actually. Uh, and um, yeah, it's, it's a very nice uh, nature reserve, Ren's Nest Nature Reserve. But, uh, if you'd like to visit there, um, it's in Dudley, UK. But, uh, it's a very nice place, actually. I like to go fossil hunting there. If you um, you know, quite a nice. Uh, Things are really, uh, but uh, other than that, guys, the video is about to end, and um, some of this is just overlapping a lot of it. But uh, I'll see you on episode eight in the series, and in a bit.